Juradel, what have you got for me today, my man? Abyssal Demons. I guess we're going back to Sire for a bit. 246 KC as well. That is actually massive. As long as we get at least one unsired, I'll be happy. Two or three. Might even finish the bludgeon. Go on, next big hit. It's got to be it. Oh. oh, there it was. 99 strength on the hardcore. While I was doing some Abyssal Sire, I wasn't too bothered about it. Uh, so I thought I might as well just get it whilst I'm here. I also know that Lunge is slightly better here, or Stab, whatever it is. Um, but I honestly don't mind. I'd rather just get my XP that I actually need. So we're going to be training strength or attack now all the way up to 95. I'm going to stop talking because I need to focus on this and make sure that we don't die. I also just realized as well, we're now 120 combat on the Iron Man. That's actually freaking insane. 120 combat is such a clean place to be. Very happy with that. Unsighted to celebrate? Unfortunately not. I popped in when I heard you were looking for him. Thank you. <laughs> Why did I just do that? Oh my god. That was so daft. I was reading the chat. I I think I think I think I I got away a couple of tiles there, so that was fine. But I'm sure the max hit of that is like 110 or something. I need to watch that back. I th I think we were okay because I, I I clicked back in time. So I don't think that was a chance, but nonetheless, that was still scary. Oh, my heart just sank. My heart actually just sank. Unsired, this kill. Calling it. I got a feeling. It's going to happen. Unsired, bada bing, bada boom. No way did I just call that. <laughs> okay, so that actually just happened. I, I promise you, I have not called an unsired all night. That is the foot. I'm streaming right now as well. I, I, I literally just called that. Excellent. Right, can we get our piece of the bludgeon? I actually said that I had a feeling that my next unsired would actually be the pet. So, moment of truth, font of consumption, what are you giving me? Second piece of the bludgeon. Very, very happy. One last piece of the bludgeon to go, and it's done, and we can leave this place forever. Oh, wow, that shows up in the Twitch chat. That's actually really good. Not in the Twitch chat, sorry, in the clan chat. I didn't know that happened. That's actually really good. I like that. Only one more to go. We might even get at this task. We are on drop rate as well for the um, for the unsired. So they're one in 100. We had three in just under 300 KC. So they're pretty good. Very happy with that. Sweet. Let's get back to Sire. All right, there we go. That is 300 KC at Sire for a nice bit of rune ore. One more piece left of the budget to go. Let's do this. Let's keep going. Let's try and complete Sire before it kills me. Jeez, I hate that. Oh, an elite clue scroll. Very nice. I think that may be a master. Oh, I genuinely thought I was an unsired. I just got baited so hard. Just realized that was my 400th KC over at Sire. It's been a while since I've had an unsired now, just over 100 kills. So hopefully we can get another one soon. But if not, honestly, the boss isn't too bad. Uh, it's becoming a bit of a grind though. We've got 55 left on task. I'm still hopeful that we can get ourselves on the side. We'll see how it goes. Oh, 101 HP. Well, that happened. Okay, so the virtual levels actually work. Nice. My voice just went interesting. I've been getting trolled about the beekeeper so much recently. Please, can this be the final piece of the beekeeper outfit? This would actually make me so happy. Let's build it. Is it gonna happen? I'm not gonna look at the I'm not gonna look at the screen. I'm not looking at the screen right now. Is the chat pogging? Yes! I actually got the last piece. Yes, come on. I saw the kex. Yes. We finally completed it. After like eight months of trying to get this freaking beekeeper outfit, it finally happened. Oh, I've <laughs> You guys have no idea. I've literally just had people coming up to me over the last week with their beekeeper outfits on, just trolling me because they don't have it. But now we have the full set and we can store it in the house. There we go. Look at that, a full beekeeper outfit. And now I will never wear it and never use it again. So it was pointless having it, but now we have it. All right, Sire, die nice and quick, please, my friend. Don't drag it out. It's the final kill of the task. 
Will we get ourselves another unsired? Or is it going to be more pain and misery? There it is. The task completed. 110,700 XP. 246 sires killed. That took a very long time. And finishing it off with some coal. Still two pieces of the budget. To, well, still two pieces of the budget acquired. One left to go. No pet, no jar, no dagger. I don't want the dagger though. Right, let's see what the next slayer task is going to be. How many charges do we have left in the arc? Like 2,000. What a weird number. I was talking about this the other day, literally, like how you just check things and just have, like, yeah. What are the chances of me having 2,222 charges left on my arc, like, checking it? Anyway, what is our next Slayer assignment going to be? Spiritual creatures. Uh, I have no idea why they're not blocked. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure they need to be blocked. Why would I ever unblock them, though? No, I'm pretty sure that's a block task. Kona, what is my next Slayer assignment going to be? Gargoyles. I can't lie. That is not a fun task. But I will go over and do some grotesque guardians. I uh, will do... Maybe another 50. I'll do at least 25 and then we'll go from there. So I'm pretty confident that we do already have uh, everything else in Watson. I made this mistake last time, but I'm, I'm pretty confident he just needs an elite off me. Hand over the elite and we get ourselves a master clue scroll. Can we do it? Of course we can. Oh, we can do the first step anyway. Let's see if we can join the back of a casket. All right, so halfway through, actually two steps into doing my master, I got a three-step clue, and one of the steps requires me to go into the wilderness uh, to dig at the rune rock and the lava maze. Now, I will do that off-stream. However, uh, there's a bit of an issue at the moment. You can't leave the clan, um, and you can't hide your world, which is quite inconvenient when hardcores need to go into the wilderness on-stream. So I did have a hard clue scroll in the bank, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and see what we get ourselves. Anything interesting? 34k. That is trash. Hopefully the master is better. But again, I can't open that until tomorrow. Um, yeah, unfortunate. All right. We're ready to go to the wilderness once again. I'm going to go to one of the 2k total worlds. I feel slightly safer on these worlds. I know technically you're not. There's still a chance that anyone could PK in any of these worlds. And if, let's be honest. If Torvester is making a video, I'm probably screwed. But let's go ahead. Teleport to the lava maze. I'm feeling pretty confident. My main account should be there. He is indeed. Uh, and the rest is, let's go and do this clue scroll. I'll keep recording. If anything happens, you guys will see it. All right, so far, so good. We're halfway there. Try and not get killed by the dragon. There we go. Final piece of the clue scroll. That was needed, and now let's get back to safety for the KBD lair where we can teleport away. Once again, we've done it. We're safe. We made it out with a clue scroll. Right, let's go and complete it now. Hopefully, I join you back with a casket again. As if I've just gotten another step in the deep wilderness. I mean, we're going to go back, of course. You know, how can we not? I think where we need to go is in. Is it? I don't. Is it in here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to run all the way around here, unfortunately. I don't have the shortcut because I think you need the hard diaries for that. Uh, again, unfortunately, I don't have that. But we should be pretty safe here. I'm pretty sure most of this is singles, or if, all, if not all of that is singles. Uh, and to get back to uh, up here, all I'd have to do is run from there, either into this hut or to Major Arena. Or even if I get teleblocked, I can always go over to the Axe Hut. So I'm, I'm pretty confident, again, with this one, we'll be fine. I said Major... Yeah, it's Major Arena. Right. Let's gear back up again. I'm quite annoyed that I ungeared. I should have checked the clue scroll step first. All right, this time I won't be using my main account. Uh, we're already set up. Let's go. Right. I'll join you back when we're done. I actually didn't realize they were all aggressive. Um, I suppose that would make it quite easy for PKs to get aggroed onto them then. That's not actually too bad. I think this is a relatively safe area. 
If you could freeze the PK and run away, I, I reckon it's pretty safe down here. Especially again if you have the teleports and stuff. Because you can telegrab wines as I'm right down here as well, which is pretty cool. Alright, there we go. That is the piece acquired. Let's get out of this place. And there we go. That is another trip to the wilderness done. Uh, I like just throwing these into the video because a lot of people don't think I do these. When I don't show them, I get people coming to my stream all the time telling them I'm a safe hardcore, I don't risk anything, I never do anything dangerous, which is, to some degree, I suppose it is, you know, I haven't done TOB just yet, but I do, you know, I I'm not good at TOB. Uh, I will be learning on my main account as I do want to go and do it soon. Uh, but the whole point of this account, I feel like a lot of people have got lost along the way. If you read the description down below, the whole point of this account is for me to get 10kc on the Corrupted Gauntlet, uh, which is what I'm working towards now. I'd like slightly higher than melee stats before we go in there. Uh, and then that's it. That's the end goal of this account. That was the whole point of me creating it. Whether we die there or whether we complete it, that will be my goal. Uh, I'll either die there or get 10 kills and then we'll carry on as a hardcore. Oh, well, fancy seeing you here, my friend. <laughs> uh, I think he's just been... I don't actually know what he's been doing. Maybe he would have killed me. Who knows? What do you reckon, chat? Do you reckon he would have killed me? Right, let's go and finish off this clue scroll. Hopefully we don't get any more uh, any more deep wilderness steps. But yeah, not bad. But yeah, like I said, um, I do dangerous stuff still. I do risk it. I just don't take stupid risks. Um, now that I've got 90 defense and stuff, I always take a good, good full inventor, Bruce. Calculated risks, always. I'm starting to think this is a bit of a joke now. Um, I, actually, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this one. Lava Dragon Isle is a very, very active PK spot. It's terrible for me to get away as well if I get caught on there. I'm pretty much dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure over here is all multi. Um, I have no escapes over here. I, there's like nowhere to go. I'd be very stupid to do this. I'm going to have a think about it and I'll let you guys know. Well, I'm going to do it. I decided that I am going to do it. Uh, like it's, it's very silly for me to do this, but I think in a 2k total world, who goes PK in here? Uh, I can't use a shortcut. I do need the Wilderness Hard Diaries done. However, whilst I'm over here, I can bury one of the Lava Dragon Bones, uh, and that should allow me to start completing the Hard Diaries anyway, uh, which is something I might do in the future. I've been thinking about it. Is this potential I want to do them just because it would make going into the Wilderness a lot safer? Like If I could use this freaking shortcut here, I mean, I'm, I would get one more agility level. It would make going into the lava maze so much nicer than having to run around here. Um, but yeah, I think I want to go and do this, actually. I need to get myself the Tizar shield, though. I don't have it. I don't have enough tockle either. Um, that's a good point, actually. I don't know how I'm going to get this. Uh, I could buy some Chaos Runes and sell them back, but I feel like that's a waste of gold. But although that might be the best option for me. Yeah, let me go and do that, and then uh, I'll join you back when we're going into the wilderness again. <laughs> All right, I didn't realize I had 40-odd thousand uh, Chaos Runes. I don't know why I thought I read that as 4,000. Uh, yeah, I think I, I definitely have enough here. Um, I just need to trade these in. I need 58,000 tockles, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right, I'll join you back in a minute. All right, it should be this store here. So we trade this geezer. We've got the gloves on still. First one. There we go. Sorted. First time ever owning this on the hardcore. To be fair, it's a pretty nice looking shield. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I realize as well, when I go into this Master Clue Scroll, I, I need five items. Um... Which is quite worrying. That's a lot of invent slots wasted by this. I might pop it all into a looting bag and then just destroy the looting bag when I get there. Just in case I come across a PK, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, possibly the stupidest thing I've ever done in my hardcore. Hopefully we don't die. I'll join you back in a minute. All right, the time has come. Um, I changed my invent a little bit. Just something that I'm, I'm happy with. I, f I feel like the defense we've got, I don't know. This kind of makes sense. If you want to see exactly what I've got, feel free to pause the video. Uh, I am, however, going to make my way over to the lava maze now. I decided I'm going to go this way on the hardcore. I've got my main account near the entrance just to freeze anyone. Uh, if someone does come, uh, I'm not too bothered about dying on my main account, of course. But I am bothered about dying on my hardcore. My argument for this is I'm not using anyone else to help me do this. I'm still technically doing it solo. And if a PK can attack an Iron Man, then I should be able to defend myself on another account. Uh, I'm not using teams or anything like that to help me. I'm not using my clan, I'm not using my CC. I think this is a fair way to do it. Uh, again, as an Iron Man, you shouldn't be able to inter interact with other players. So as I see it, PK shouldn't be able to interact with me. However, that isn't the way the game works. Anyway, I'm going to start waffling now. Uh, you can tell I'm nervous in my voice, can't you? 
I don't know who that was. I'm going to go and have a quick look. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just going just gonna to hop to another world and log back in. Honestly, man, I hate this. I actually hate it. Right, I'll join you back in a minute. As I, as I said, whilst I'm here, I am also going to uh, kill one of these dragons. I think we're pretty safe here now, because if someone does come, I can just log out, uh, which is good. And then, of course, he's just escaping. I believe I need to kill the lava dragon and bury the bones. I don't know if this is an elite task or a hard task, but either way, I do need to do this at some point in the future. Um, whether I'll ever end up risking this step again, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very stupid that I've done this. But whatever, we're still alive. I'm sure you guys enjoy the risky content. And I'm pretty sure we're home free now. So, again, I left my main account there just in case I needed it. But looks like we were fine. Uh, I'm going to hop back to 517 as well, just because there was a guy over here. I, to be fair, I don't think he was a PKer. Uh, I'm pretty sure he wasn't. If he was, he was very, very slow. Um, I'm just going to hope he's not a PKer. But he's not, yeah, he's, he's just lowering the uh, Chaos Elemental. Oh, all right. We're safe. Jeez, I hated that. I hated every second of that. Oh, we're safe. We've done it. And that was a hard diary task. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. All right, at least the next clue scroll is a safe one. I do need to get myself a split back body though, but I do have the uh, dragon full shield or the dragon square shield, sorry, in here somewhere. So I do have that already, which is perfect. Um, yeah. And any boater, I've got loads of them in the house, so I just need to get myself a split back body. I think I need to do Shades of Morton, which I've done a little bit of in the past. Um, I have some keys down here. I think I need a gold key to be able to get through all the rooms, so I don't really know how it works. But I think a silver key might let me through the other doors. I'm going to go and test it, and then get myself at least one gold key, and then kill the shades. And I, I don't know how this works. I'm going to figure it out. Be right back. All right, I think I figured out how to do this. It's actually not that difficult. I can't go and kill the gold ones over there, though, because you need redwood logs to burn them. Uh, unfortunately, I've only got 74. Uh, no, sorry. Oh, no, I've got 99 fire making, but I don't think I can get redwood logs. I might be able to get them from this uh, from this mini game, but I don't actually know. Uh, so I'm going to kill these anyway. These have a chance to give me a gold key regardless, so I can open up the gold chest as well. Uh, and if not, the silver keys are fine. The silver key lets me get through all the doors except for the gold one. And if I get a gold key whilst burning the remains, which I should do, I should be able to go through the gold doors. So it seems pretty straightforward. It's just I've never actually done this before, apart from uh, to burn one of these shade remains whilst I had the last master clue step. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do all this. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get the pieces of cloth that we need. I think we need four pieces of fine cloth. Uh, and that's it. I need to get some bark as well, but I believe I can get that by chopping a tree. So let's give it a go and I'll let you know when we're done. This takes quite a while to do all this. I understand why people don't like it, but for me, it's all new, so I'm still learning. All right, so yeah, you can get gold keys from here, which is perfect because that will allow me to go through all the doors. So I'm going to leave at least one golden key in my bank and then I can just use all the rest of them. That way I can get through all the doors if I need to. Uh, and then any excess keys will just use them. But yeah, this seems pretty good, actually. Like I said, I, I don't mind this. This isn't terrible. All right, not as many keys as I thought we would get, but there's a decent amount here. Let's go and use them all, see if we can get some fine cloth, shall we? Oh, it's got a flame tier bag. Very nice. Uh, I'm not too sure what that's used for, but it is a unique nonetheless, so we take those. And the last three chests, and we get ourselves some fine cloth. Very nice. Uh, I need three more pieces of that now. We do have some gold keys here. I'm going to go ahead and use two of them. Uh, just to see if we can get ourselves some more fine cloth. I think the chance of getting some fine cloth off one of these silver chests is one in eight. So it's going to take a lot more than I thought to do this, but that's fine. I should also probably bring some uh, 
some stamina with me. But yeah, we got our first piece. That's cool. Two new collection log slots there as well. Uh, I think there's quite a few new things you can get here. You can get like, a Zealots outfit as well, which looks pretty cool. So it'd be interesting to see. Do these Zealots actually drop anything? Bleached Bones. Are they the ones that give you prayer? Ex no, okay. I thought they gave you prayer points back, but I guess not. Uh, not going to lie. A little underwhelming. I'm not going to use that last key, as I mentioned. It's how I get back in here. So I'm going to go and bank, kill some more of these shades, and I'll join you back when we get some more unique stuff. So this could take a little while, actually. But uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. We've got 111k as well. What? That's insane, GP. Ah, oh, the Alcabals, of course. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. All right, 111 shade remains. Let's see how many keys we get off these, shall we? All right, this time around, I got way more keys than I was expecting. It's going to take a while to go through all these. A couple of trips, maybe. But we should be able to get at least three more pieces of fine cloth. I'm hoping. If we don't, I think that'd be very unlucky. So I'll join you back and let you know if we get anything. Hopefully, we can get some Zela outfit as well. That'd be nice. Or Zella outfit. I don't know why I keep calling it that. The, the loot you get from here is pretty decent, actually. Yes, another piece of fine cloth already. Okay, that, that, that's really good. Another flame tear hammer, black plate body, ring of life. Oh, an amulet of the damned. Very nice. That is actually my first amulet of the damned piece. Oh, my first amulet of the damned. Nice. I don't know if that's that useful for me anymore, to be honest. Um, it, it's, it's cool regardless, you know. It's a unique, it's a collection log unique as well. I only need one more piece of fine cloth, and I've like hardly used any of my uh, keys. I think I may have... I think I may have gone a little overboard here. But hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's good. This is good. I wonder if we can get any of the Zella outfit. Right, that's all of the brown keys used. Like some decent alcohols as well. Another amulet. That's my third amulet. What? Nah, I have to be getting lucky here. Right. Yes. Oh, that's all my fine cloth. I didn't even realize, but that is all the fine cloth that I need. Uh, I'm going to continue through anyway and just use up all of the keys that I've got. Uh, and just see what else we get. So I'll join you back at the end. Or if we get anything else unique. As you can see, we've I think that's my third amulet down now. And we already have all the fine cloth. So very, very happy with that. I also think we'll make a decent amount of cash just off these, which is nice. All right. Now it's time for the gold keys. It's where the fun starts. I'm not going to lie. Like, the, the rewards from these. Are, are they Redwoods? They are. <gasps> that's actually really good. So you can get Redwood logs from here. So that, that means I can burn 14 of these, which are these shades, which are guaranteed to drop the golden keys. That's really good. I'm hoping that these aren't too rare from here. That's also going to help me out for the master clue step requirement that requires you to burn a redwood log. That's actually really good. That's amazing, actually. Right, there we go. That is it. None of the zealots outfit, unfortunately. However, we did get a lot of amulets of the damned. Uh, we also got a hard clue scroll as well, which is pretty nice. So... Uh, I'm going to quickly just bang all this in the bank and you can see what we got. We've got six Amulets of the Damned, 14 Redwood Logs. I'm very, very happy with those. Um, yeah, not doing too bad, actually. Decent. And I got plenty of fine cloth. I got 11 in the end. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a split back body. And then, uh, yeah, let's go and do the Master Clue Scroll, which we've had in the bank now all day. This is Honestly, I've been grinding for this. Getting all those keys and stuff took a lot longer than I anticipated. But six Amulets of the Damned. I know one of them is required for a Clue Scroll. I believe someone just told me so. That'd be cool. Right, enough chatting. Let's do this. Well, unfortunately, the next step requires me to have a black dragon mask. And unfortunately, I do not have one. I feel like my day has been completely wasted. What was that? Step five as well. I do have a hard clue scroll in the bank, so I'm going to go and do it. Maybe we will get a black dragon mask, but I doubt it. What a waste of time. So here we go. The moment of truth. I'm going to drop the master for now, just because we could technically get ourselves another master clue scroll. I'm going to start with the hard, just because we might get ourselves the unique we need. But no, alas, we do not. Unfortunately, no black dragon mask and a rune heraldic shield, which is, you know, a rune, oh no, no, it's not even a heraldic, I'm just so flustered, I'm very annoyed at this step, like, very annoyed, it's got, I'm gonna have to drop it, because it's a unique from a hard clue scroll, and the chance of me getting a black dragon mask is incredibly slim, so, unfortunately, it's going in the bin. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.